how to handle equity in your home. Last week, I was visiting one of my clients, just doing my routine pop buys so that I could just go see them, talk to them in person and see how they are doing, how they are enjoying their home. And when I was having a conversation with them, I was talking to them about the possibilities of buying investment properties or how to be uh, handling their money once they have paid down their house. And during the conversation, he started saying, Amol, I didn't know I could take a cash out refinance of the house or I didn't know I could take a line of credit on the house, increase the mortgage and use that money for other purposes. Had I known that, I would have gone and bought some more properties or invested in some other items. And that was shocking to me. Hi, I'm Amol Heda with Keller Williams Bay Estates and author of Thriving Through Ownership. Now, guess, when I work with my clients, I start with structuring their home ownership with as little down payment as they can and borrow most of the money because my faith is that the 30 year fixed loan that you get from the lenders is perhaps way cheaper than putting your own money. Let me put it differently. What I'm saying is that when you borrow a 30 year fixed, this 30 year fixed, the interest rate that you pay on it, like last year, a lot of my clients got 2% to 3% for their 30 year, year fixed mortgage when they bought their homes. This year, that rate has suddenly jumped to around the 6s and 7%. Now, this 6 or 7, if you get it for an auto loan, it's even higher. If you get it on a, for a credit card, it's 15 to 18%. So if you look at the interest rate that you pay when you are buying a home, the mortgage towards buying a home, that's the lowest interest rate. Not just that, the S&P long term is 6.5% return. So if you got your home mortgage last year at that less than 3% interest rate, you would be able to go and even put it in the S&P and you would get 6.5%. Now, so there are two ways of thinking. That's the cheapest source of money borrowing for your home. And number two, that cheap source of money when you borrow, but if you invest that into something else, that does even 1% better. Guess, here in the Bay Area, a typical single family home is about $2 million. So, most people typically put about $400,000 as down payment and borrow $1.6 million. Now, just imagine, you have $1.6 million in your bank or the entire 2 million and you're trying to buy full cash. So every penny that you pay to buy the house is from your own bank accounts. How much interest are you saving? Say in today's market, about five to 6%. In last year's market, that would have been at the most three, two to 3%. Now, don't forget, that you are cutting this $1.6 million into 360 pieces and giving it back to the lender in small payments along with the interest. That, those two are the services. One, giving you the money for 30 long years and two, taking the money back from you in 
360 small installments. Remember, there is a cost to that. Now, this client, he was shocked to learn that you could, after you had paid down the house, you could go to a lender and say, hey, I bought my home for 1.2. Today it is worth $2 million. So you could borrow potentially everything between the 1.2 million price to the 2 million price. 75% of that, that is three fourths. So if this client of mine bought their home for 1.2 million, how much did they make a down payment? $240,000. And they have been living in that home for five years now. So they paid off about $60,000 at the rate of $12,000 per year. So when they pay off $60,000, their original loan was 960, original mortgage was $960,000. That went down 60,000. So now they owe 900,000, but their home went up to $2 million. So when it went up to $2 million, they can borrow three fourths of $2 million. So how much can they borrow? $1.5 million. How much do they owe? $900,000. So how much can they borrow now? $600,000. Is that a small amount that you can access from the appreciation and the pay down that you have achieved of the home? No. So that access to money, a lot of people are completely unaware of or they don't realize they can do this. Because if you can better the return on what this borrowed money, you what you pay for this borrowed money and pocket that income that you make, by investing this money wisely, you are going to be in a much better place. So think again, your home has equity and you can use that equity if you know how to play the play. So think about home equity. I've talked in detail about this in my book. There are some mortgage episodes in this. There is an episode about 30 year fixed versus 15 year fixed versus arms. There are episodes about how mortgages work. Please go look at those episodes. I will be putting the cards here. Look at them until my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do like, like, subscribe and hit the bell button. That way you get notified afterwards. Bye.